Hi again guys, so another Forza 4 tuning video for you today. This time for the Panos LMP1. So yeah, let's get straight into it. This is for the R1 class. And it's a top speed tune within the R1 class. So you want your standard race tyres. Uh, the rims we've changed to Dimags, which are the lightest rims in the game. I believe there, there are some other rims which weigh the same. Uh, as those um, uh, we've got the level what do you say level 2 power restrictor or we've removed the power restrictor to that level uh, as always the tire pressures I haven't changed as far as the gearing put the final drive right down to 2.2 I don't think I've touched the individual gears so 271 218 176 143, 127 and 115. For the alignment we've set everything to, to neutral so it's not dragging its tyres and we've got the caster angle high as I always do on my racing cars. Uh, left the springs stock or left the anti-roll bars I should say stock and the springs ride height we've got as low as possible haven't touched the dampers and downforce as low as possible obviously. And according to the benchmark, we've got 0 to 60 of 2.3 seconds, 0 to 100 in 4.4, which is seriously quick, and a top speed of 235 miles per hour. So let's see what it can do on the track. So I brought it here to the benchmark, see how quick this car is in reality, because obviously. Uh, what the benchmark says that the car can do is sometimes different to the reality. But uh, I've personally found the Panos LMP to be one of the best Lamar cars in the game. It's certainly one of my favourite. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just a great all round car, really. It handles really well, it sounds great, it looks awesome. The top speed is pretty good. Obviously, it's not on the same level as the 962 or the Mercedes saw the C9 but it can handle itself against most of the other LMP cars for top speed its acceleration is great handling is great and for for tracks like this the Sarthe aka Le Mans uh, the Nuremberg Ring that kind of track Sebring as well any track with a straight and a decent amount of corners this track or this car will be fantastic for so yeah that's about all there is to say really, and uh, as always, thanks for watching.